if you haven't voted on the game awards i encourage you guys to go vote because uh why not better than you just not voting and then you something that you don't like wins and then you're like wow why that win well you didn't vote <laughs> so uh yeah all right let's start voting so these are all the categories i think it I have to go from here to here so top to bottom um game of the year me i'm picking elden ring because i haven't played anything else on here stray i heard about the stray that's the thing where you play as the cat right i heard about that but i haven't played it god of war ragnarok i feel like tomorrow we're gonna see elden ring win over god of war just because i don't know i, I haven't played god of war yes but Elden Ring's been out for way longer. Way more people have played Elden Ring than God of War. I'm not saying God of War can't win. It probably will win. I don't know. But stats-wise, I'm pretty sure Elden Ring's going to win because it's been it's been out for way longer. <laughs> it's been out for way longer. God of War Ragnarok just dropped. Horizon Forbidden West, I haven't played it. Xenoblade 3, I haven't played it. A lot of people hate JRPGs anyway, so I highly doubt that's going to win. But um, I don't know. I don't know what could happen. Plague Tale Requiem, um, is that the game with the rats? I haven't played it or seen it. I'm gonna vote Elden Ring though, because that's what I've played. Uh, how do I go to the next category? Or is this right here? Best game direction. Immortality. I want to play this on stream, but it has like a sex scene on it, so like the stream might get taken down. I've seen it happen to people because there's a sex scene in the game. I wanted to play this on stream for moving. I haven't played it yet, but I, I will play it eventually. Uh, once again, I'm voting Elden Ring here because I haven't played anything else. That's just how it is. <laughs> I haven't played anything else on here, so I, I, I'm just gonna have to vote Elden Ring. Oh my god, this is the same thing again. Holy hell, it seems like the same games are elected. What the hell? That's narrative. I'm gonna have to go Elden Ring again. <laughs> I, I don't. I haven't played God of War. If I did, I probably would pick God of War for this because narrative, outstanding storytelling. I'm pretty sure God of War would be better here. I'm, now I'm gonna let you guys pick this one. I'm picking God of War for that one. Cause Elden Ring story is not, cause Elden Ring, you know how Elden Ring goes. You beat Elden Ring and be like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> what, what the hell did I just play? How, how many of you guys know the lore of Dark Souls? Or like the, the lore of Elden Ring? I kind of understand it, but not really too well. It's not that easy to understand. Who does? You either do you don't it's one of those games where you beat the game. What the hell did I just play? You have to look up a video explaining what <laughs> like bro I don't know if it's like that with God of War, but I'm I don't even play God of War and I understand some of the story best art direction art direction Art direction. What do you guys think here art direction? Mmm, just design animation God of War again Elden Ring scoring easier scorns design is actually pretty cool I like scorns art direction scorns art direction is amazing scorn control like the controller looked really cool look at this look at that controller I mean this isn't that much that it's nothing that crazy but scorn looks pretty cool I haven't played it but it looks really cool like that controller looks sick. That's clean okay this one's fake but this controller looks sick I kind of like scorns art direction but I haven't played it or I have no clue anything about it so I, I can't I can't I'm gonna pick Scorn though. Nah, it's an L game. Okay, but best art direction. The category is art direction. Outstanding creativity or technical achievement. So when it comes to art direction, which one are you picking? Elder Ring has some really good visuals, especially on the open world and stuff. Elder Ring is amazing too. Bias for Sony. Chat is bias for Sony. I'm gonna probably pick Elder Ring uh, cause like I can't just pick Scorn just cause with one controller. God of War? Art direction? Okay, I'll, I'll do a poll. I do a poll. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a poll. How does Sony make chat bias? I don't know, bro. <laughs> if I'm picking here, though, me personally, I'm picking Elden Ring because I've played Elden Ring. I've seen the open world, the visuals, all the trees and all that. Like, it looks amazing. What the hell is Scorn? It just came out. Like, I think it just came out, it came out like a month or two ago. I haven't watched it though. I know anything about it. Scorn, bro, it's so unique. Mm, seems like a lot of people haven't played Scorn. Yikes. <laughs> I guess God of War is going to win. Oh, yeah. I kind of do want to play Elden Ring this stream because I added PvP. Oh, yeah. Street Fighter's release date just got leaked, too. <laughs> Street Fighter's release date just got leaked by uh, Sony. Hold on. Let me show you guys this. Quick little side note. It got leaked. <laughs> it's 6 to uh, 2023. June 2nd. Damn. They got leaks. <laughs> it literally got leaked on the PlayStation Store. Ah, everybody thought we gonna, it's going to drop on February because Street Fighter is usually drop on February. But, well, it's not dropping. It got delayed. I feel like Tekken is going to launch this month okay chat if tekken if tomorrow at the game awards if we see tekken and they say the release date is this month 100 gifted 100 gifted uh, i'm gifting 100 nah actually 200 wait no that's too much <laughs> wait 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 let's leave it at 100 let's leave it at 100 100 <laughs> gifted 100 gifted 100 gifted hold on hold on 100 on. gifted bro because they're hyping up tekken so much saying like did you see that trailer i'm not gonna watch it right now but like they're hyping that thing up like crazy. Like the owner said, don't ask me for shit and all that stuff. Like that dude's hyping it up. 150, you won't? Okay, I'll meet you halfway. 150. 150 deal? 150. I'll meet you halfway. Not 200, 150. All right. Okay, God of War won the poll, right? 
Let me see the poll. Where is it? Results. Yeah, God of War won. Okay. God of War it is. Best score in music. Uh Oh, voting closed. Oh, no. It just closed. Like, it closed four minutes ago. <laughs> see, this is why I want her to finish this. It just closed. Damn, I should have started the stream early. Voting just closed. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Voting just closed. Yikes. Best score in music. If it, okay, best score in music, I'd probably pick Outer Ring. I know Zonoblade music is good too, but I'd probably have picked Outer Ring. This one, audio design. Audio design. Modern Warfare 2. Bro, I can I can't hear footsteps for shit in COD. I'm not picking COD, hell no. I mean, it sounds amazing, like the explosion and all that, but I, where's Sonic Frontiers? Yeah, where's Sonic on this? Why is Sonic on up here? We can still vote within the chat. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't really do much. Voting just closed four minutes ago. It's nine o'clock. It's 9.05. Five minutes ago, the voting just closed. Damn, I should have started streaming earlier. That's why I wanted to do this before I played Sekiro, but well, too late now. Yeah, I would have probably picked Outer Ring here. Damn, Outer Ring's elected for a lot of stuff. Best performance. Um, God of War, Immortality, Plague Requiem. I probably would pick God of War here. I might be biased though for that. Yeah, I probably would have picked a uh, Christopher Judge for God of War. Is that biased? I don't know if that's biased or not, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Games for impact as Dusk Falls, a memoir blue, uh, the rest of these stuff I have never heard of. I know Dusk Falls is good, but like I haven't played it. I was supposed to play it for a movie night. It's like a decision based game. I, I actually wish I did play it, but like the only reason why I didn't want to play it is because it's all pictures. It's not like a, it's not like, um, you get what I mean? They're all like cutscene pictures. It's not like actual cutscenes. Animated. They're not animated. They're just drawings. All right. Next category. Let's see. Best ongoing game. Ongoing game. Ooh. Now this one would have been rough. <laughs> now damn, this one would have been a rough one, bro. All of these communities are diehard for their games. Genshin fans, they addicted to that game. It's probably it's probably between Destiny, Final Fantasy, and Genshin. They are diehard for their fan. I'm actually interested to see who wins this tomorrow. But it probably will be Genshin because Genshin, the fan base on Genshin is strong. But if I'm picking here, I'm picking probably Final Fantasy. There's a lot of people addicted to that game, bro. Final Fantasy, XIV. I refuse to play that game because I don't want to get addicted to it. I'm never playing that game. I swear to God. I'm never playing that game. I don't want to get addicted to it. That's why I would not pick it because that game is too addicting. That game is addicting. Like, it's not a game you'd want to play. <laughs> Genshin Impact. Um, I, I feel like Genshin is going to win this. Or maybe Fortnite. Destiny's community is dire for their game too. Apex as well. But I don't I don't see it being as strong as Genshin and Final Fantasy. But I'm pretty sure Genshin is going to win. Final Fantasy all the fucking way. I, I feel like Genshin is going to win this. Didn't, didn't the player's choice thing, um, Sonic was winning. But now Genshin fans came out of nowhere. Like Sonic was winning by like 80% on player's choice. I can't see it because I didn't vote. But damn, whatever. Um, Best indie game. I'm picking Sifu. <laughs> I'm picking Sifu. What? I'm picking Sifu. What? Neon White. I like the art style on Neon White. It looks cool. Call of the Lamb, Stray, and Tunic. It's probably going to be Stray, though. I, I'd pick Sifu because I played Sifu, but Stray is probably going to win this. Damn, I wish I could vote, but it's too late. <laughs> Literally eight minutes. Damn. It got cut off in the middle of us voting. That's crazy. I feel like Stray is going to win this. A lot of people enjoyed Stray. Um, a lot more people have played Stray, too, if I'm correct. Um... But I'm picking Sifu there, just because that's all I've played. A best mobile game. Oof. This is Genshin Sweep. <laughs> this is going to be a Genshin Sweep, bro. No way Apex randomly wins or Tower Fantasy. Majority of Tower Fantasy's fan base is Genshin. Marvel Snap. What the hell? <laughs> what? Genshin's going to win this easily. Didn't this Genshin won last year, did it? It won last year. It's going to win again. <laughs> I'd be surprised if Tower Fantasy wins. I'm gonna be really, really surprised if Tower Fantasy wins. Best community support. Community support. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it'd be Final Fantasy here. Like, do, these dudes are in calls, doing raids and shit. Like, Final Fantasy. Like, it, it'd have to be Final Fantasy. Or Fortnite, yeah, or Fortnite, but Final Fantasy. Like, Final Fantasy, those dudes be like, they be scheduling times for the raids. If you miss it, you're kicked from the damn clan. <laughs> no, they, 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 they're serious about the raids on, st on stuff in that game. Genshin needs to be deleted from existence. Hey, man, what do you mean? That's Genshin, bro. <laughs> All right. Innovation of accessibility. What? Recognized software and or Howard is pushing the medium forward for adding features, technology, and content to help games be played and enjoyable by even a wider, a wider audience. So, like, games that, like, branch, branch out and, like, pull people from different fan bases, like... Let's say people from like um shooters or something, or is, is that what they mean? Games that pull people from different fan bases, right? God of War. Or you guys are you guys are obsessed with God of War? What? 
Really? I'd probably say the query though. Innovation of accessibility? I'd probably say query. Like I've, I've seen people from fighting games play query, shooters, um, strategy game. Like I've seen all types of people play query. And Last of Us too. Last of Us is probably gonna win. Last of Us is crazy. Though part two, I didn't really enjoy that much. Um, God of War just does it good. But you gotta recognize the category, innovation of accessibility. Dude, this would be crazy if God of War wins so much things tomorrow. That's gonna be wild. Okay, um, return to Monkey Island. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Are you gonna play God of War? Yeah, I will, but I gotta play the 2018 one first. I'm gonna play it on stream, so don't worry. When he, well, you'll know when I play it. Um, let's go to the next page. Best VR AR. I don't have VR, but I probably see the most popular one here is Among Us, if I'm correct. Among Us, right? Among Us VR, I'm pretty sure that's the most popular one. Didn't have like proximity chat too. Among Us was huge last year. Or was it the year before? I don't know which one. No, it was the year before. Was it the year before? It was 2020 or 2021 one of them. Among Us was gigantic, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure VR is gonna win this Among Us. Best action game. Best action game. Cod, Bayonetta, Sifu, Neon White. I'm picking Sifu. But COD can easily win this because the COD fan base, you already know how COD is. <laughs> Best action slash adventure. Action slash adventure. Okay, God of War is probably going to win that. Or, or Horizon Forbidden West. I haven't played it though. I haven't heard too much about it, but God of War is probably definitely going to win that. Action slash adventure. Yeah, that's, that, that sounds like God of War. It's probably going to be God of War. So there's just, there's no, that's just a God of War sweep. Best role playing game. Wow. I've played almost every game here. Actually, no, I haven't. I've played Elden Ring. Live and live. I bought it on my Switch. I didn't play it just yet. Triangle Strategy. This game was hard as fuck, but I beat it. Um, It's not going to win, though. Arceus. You already know how I feel about Arceus. Hell no. Um, <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I feel like Elden Ring is going to win this 100%. This is not even a debate. Live and live. I, I really need to start this. I don't know if I'm going to play it on stream or if I'll just play it on my own time. But I bought it on my Switch already. I just didn't start it yet because I like strategy games and... uh turn-based game stuff like that yeah anyway uh Elden Ring's gonna win that that's that's just well or maybe maybe Zonoblade will come out of nowhere but I, I highly doubt it highly highly doubt it best fighting game now this is the category everyone was getting tilted about because Sifu's on here and it's not like an actual fighting game like people like people from the fighting game fan base were getting pissed that Sifu's on here because Sifu shut the fuck up your <laughs> let me stop but Sifu's on here and like it's not, you know, it's not live PvP. Where is FighterZ on here? FighterZ didn't drop this year. These are all games that dropped this year. Well, actually, I don't really get it, though, because some categories don't even have games that dropped that year. Like, for example, best mobile game. Genshin didn't drop last year. But I guess it got a gigantic update to be considered. I mean, if it got elected, it got elected. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. But all these games dropped this year, and uh, Sifu is not really a fighting game. If, if you're going to elect Sifu for best fighting game, you might as well put, like, Elden Ring and stuff on here. Because... In Sifu, you don't fight players, you fight NPCs. Mostly versus is PvP. King of Fighters, well, KY15 is PvP. JoJo All-Star BR, that's PvP. DNF is PvP. Every game on here is PvP except Sifu. So that's why everyone was like, what the hell? Why, why is Sifu on here? <laughs> it's not really a fighting game. But, I mean, it depends on what you would call a fighting game and what you wouldn't call a fighting game. Because if Sifu was on here, then a whole bunch of other games. God of War could be on here at this point, then. <laughs> God of War could be on here. Outer Ring, there's a lot of games that could be on here if Sifu was on here. But... I mean, Sifu got elected. That's just how it is. But if I'm picking one of these, I'm not picking Sifu. That's just my... I just... I, I that It's the best fighting game. Like, Multiverse has had a really good year, but it's declining in players. Not to take away from the game's gameplay or anything. I just... Like, Multiverse is fun, but it's not Smash, bro. Like, that's just the thing for me. Like, I like Multiverse, but... One, I, I don't like the fact that it's 2v2 mainly based. And another thing is that I like single-player games. Like... 1v1 games. I don't really like team fighters that much. That's why I kind of don't really like that project. I was going towards team fighting. And like uh, Fighter Z is a team fighting game. I don't really like team fighting, but I got used to it. It's okay, but I'd always prefer one on one like Street Fighter or uh, Tekken. But if I'm picking here, I'm picking um, DNF. <laughs> I'm picking DNF. I just had a lot of fun on DNF. DNF is fun, but like obviously this game is dropped and still has not gotten an update, and we're finally getting an update. It's not. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Wait. 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 Hear me out. 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 If we're talking, no. If we're okay. If we're talking updates aside, because JoJo just got his like first. Actually, no. That's the second major update. But uh, KOF is probably gonna win this. Or I mean, no, not not KOF. Multiverse is probably gonna win this because it's a free game. It has the most players out of all these games here. But if I'm picking, I'm picking DNF. I like JoJo, but there's no rollback, 
Every game here has rollback, except Sifu's not a fighting game. I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, just Sifu's not even in here for me. This has rollback, this has rollback, this has rollback. JoJo does not have rollback. The net code is horrendous. I can't pick that, I'm sorry. KOF 15, I don't like Steam Fighters that much. I, like, it's fun though, but one, I don't really know what the hell I'm doing in that game because I don't, I didn't really like put the time in. But out of all these games, the most game I put the time into is DN, well, actually, it's probably JoJo, but nah, I'm, I, I gotta pick DNF. I just have to pick DNF. I'm sorry, but I have to pick DNF. It's so it's so easy for new players to play DNF now too. Like it's an easy game to pick out, pick up, but it's a hard game to master. It's a fun ass game, dude. It, ha it has rollback. It just doesn't have crossplay, sadly. But it just suffers from barely getting any updates. That's like the only thing that toasts me for DNF. But we're finally getting an update. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, next category. Best family game. What the hell? Switch Sports, I rage quit off that game. I uninstalled it on X. Well, if you were at the stream, you know. <laughs> Mario Rapids, Sparks of Hope. I don't think that's gonna win. Lego Star Wars, that could probably win, but I doubt it. I feel like Kirby's gonna win or Splatoon. Kirby or Splatoon's gonna win. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Splatoon though. I I'm pretty sure Splatoon's gonna win. Pretty sure it will. Kirby and Friday Line, I'm not saying that game is bad or anything. I've seen gameplay, it looks fun, but sadly it's not co-op. Well, it is co-op, but you can't play co-op online. You, it's only couch co-op, which is like, bro, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious, bro? Nintendo, come on. We're like, what, 2022? Better go into 2023. We can't have online co-op. Switch Sports got the DNF dual treatment. Oh, yeah. Switch Sports, like, some of the sports aren't even in the game. You don't, like, boxing is gone. Baseball is gone. They just got golf. And there's, like, a bunch of sports from um from Wii Sports Resort that aren't in there. Um, Kirby might win, but I, I'm pretty sure Splatoon's going to win this. Out of, out of best family game, I'm going to say probably Splatoon. Game appropriate for family play. I mean... Mario Rabbit's Fox could probably win too, but mm, I'm pretty sure Splatoon's gonna win just because the fan base is that huge. Not to say those other games' fan base aren't huge, but they're not as diehard for their game as like Splatoon. <laughs> Best sim slash strategy game. Wow, I've not played any of these strategy games. Turn based simulation. But well, none of the strategy games I've played came out this year. A triangle strategy. Um, wait, triangle strategy did drop last year. It just didn't get nominated, sadly. Um, game probably just wasn't that big. Uh, live, live is not here. Damn, that's crazy. Fire Emblem Three Houses wouldn't be on here, obviously, because well, it's not. It didn't come out this year, or probably just didn't get nominated. One of them. I don't know how they do it, the criteria, because some games they have to have dropped that year, some they don't. I don't really get it. But it, strategy, I, I have not played any of these games on here. I'd probably just skip this. But if I were to guess and see who wins this tomorrow, I'm probably gonna say the Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope thingy is gonna win tomorrow. Best sports size racing game. FIFA is probably gonna win this or 2K. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be FIFA though. Turismo could win this. I have no clue. I've never heard of this game before. F1 22. Mm. I doubt it. Doubt it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be 2K or FIFA. It's it's it's, it's between 2K or FIFA. <laughs> like, but I'm probably gonna say FIFA's gonna win this because the because I I'm pretty sure FIFA's fan base is bigger, but maybe 2K's is bigger. I mean, we all know soccer is a bigger sport, but who who which which one of these fan bases actually would go out their way to open a computer and vote? <laughs> Who's likely? Do you see? Do you see? anyone that plays 2k actually opening a computer to go vote for this <laughs> it's gonna be between 2k or fifa like i don't really care who wins this but by the way it's football not so okay chill out don't don't start that in my chat all right best multiplayer um wow uh multiverse is probably gonna win this just because it had such a good year i mean it's not doing too well right now but it can easily come back pop off easily it's a free game i mean overwatch 2 is free now too though so you gotta understand free games just has way more player based than games that cost like 60 dollars. so <laughs> way more people have played multiverses uh, overwatch is too is free now too though so i mean anyone can win this but i'm pretty sure here let me put the player base multiverses multiverses player count 1.8k it's going down whoa 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 what it's probably like 600 on steam then 1.6k this is 1.6k on steam so you're telling me 200 people are playing on console dog what what happened wow <laughs> Um, okay, wow, Overwatch 2 player count. Let's see. 700k. Damn. Okay, Overwatch is probably gonna win. Like, multiverse is just not hitting, bro. I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. All over two player count. 180k. Yeah, Overwatch 2. Jeez, 800 people are damn. 800k. How much we are playing Roblox? 1.4 mil. Um, wow. That's crazy. That is, uh, let's see Fortnite real quick. 2.9 million. I mean, it, a, new, a new season just dropped, so it's expected. But anyway, um, wow, I was going to say Multiverse was going to win this, but, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Overwatch is probably gonna win that. <laughs> Overwatch is probably gonna win that. I, it seems the multiverse community is uh, <laughs> going through something right now. I don't know, but hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's that's crazy. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Anyway, back to what we were doing. Uh, Concert creator of the year. I'm gonna say Cutie, Ludwig, Nabillion. I'm gonna say Ludwig. He had like the whole subathon, subathon and all that stuff. And once he switched to YouTube, he's still making crazy moves. I'm probably gonna say Ludwig here. Ludwig is probably gonna win this. Cutie did really good with the, the streaming stream awards too though, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Ludwig, Ludwig's gonna win this. Best debut indie. Yeah, Stray's gonna win this, 100%. Hella people are playing Stray. Stray even got nominated for game of the year, so Stray's probably gonna win this. Stray's definitely gonna win this. Tunic, Vampire Survivors, I've never heard of this, never heard of this. Neon White, I've heard of it, but I didn't play it. Norco, never heard of it. Yeah, Stray's probably gonna win this. I like I just know a lot of people have played straight. I haven't even played straight, but best adaptation. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Yo, what? Arcane, Cyberpunk, Edge Runners, Cuphead Show, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Uncharted. Edge Runners and Arcane. Oh, this is gonna be interesting to see tomorrow. W rate. Oh, thanks for the rate. <laughs> Jug, thank you, thank you, thank you. Arcane or Edge Runners? Oh my god, dude. I I'm picking Arcane. I'm sorry, but I, I gotta pick Arcane. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, like uh I, I didn't watch it. <laughs> as, as much as a Sonic fan as I am, I didn't even watch it. Arcane is the truth. I'm pretty sure Arcane's gonna win. Edge Runners is good too, yes, but Arcane's gonna win this or Cuphead show, but Arcane and Cyberpunk had such a crazy year, dude. If there's one show you heard from Netflix, it was Arcane or Edge Runners. Uncharted is on Netflix or oh, no, that's the movie. Um, Sonic Hedgehog, that's the movie. Cuphead show. Where do you even watch this? I don't even know where you watch this. Netflix, I guess. I, I didn't watch it, bro. Even people that don't even play League were watching Arcane. That's how big Arcane was. <laughs> like what? Arcane is huge. <laughs> Like, I can't wait for season two. Season two is gonna be amazing. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I like Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, but like I don't. Arcane was out for way longer, so there's that. So more people have seen Arcane, and Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Like I said, I I like Arcane better just because Cyberpunk Edge Runners. It was easy for me to guess the ending since I played Cyberpunk 2077. But that's the only thing I don't like about it. Other than that, I like Cyberpunk Edge Runners. It was a good show, but. It was just too easy for me to guess the ending because I played the game. If you played the game, you, you just you just cocked yourself. <laughs> like I wish I I wish I watched the show and then played the game. Like some people are doing now. But yeah. I'm picking Arcane here, personally. Arcane, like Arcane was really good. Really, really good. Arcane was really good. Um Next category. Most anticipated game. Ooh. Hogwarts Legacy. Zelda. Okay, Zelda's probably gonna win this though. I'm really anticipating Final Fantasy 16 and Hogwarts, but Zelda is probably going to win this. But I really want to play Final Fantasy 16. Those the trailer for that game looks amazing. Hogwarts Legacy, the trailer for that looks amazing too. I really want to play Hogwarts Legacy. But Resident Evil 4, I don't really care for Resident Evil series that much. I used to play them on the Wii when I was little, but never like really captivated me that much. But they're not bad. They're definitely not bad. They're like games that I'd play every like once in a while. Just play Resident Evil, shoot some uh, zombies or whatever, demons, whatever. Starfield, I've never heard of this. Sorry, but Zelda's probably going to win this. But deep down, I want Final Fantasy 16 to win. <laughs> Just because like I don't know, I'm a Final Fantasy boy or something. I don't know, I'm a fanboy. But yeah, every, everyone's been waiting for Breath of the Wild too. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not gonna be surprised if tomorrow Zelda wins. Esports game. Where's Valorant? Okay, yeah, Valorant is here. Okay, I'm picking Valorant. I'm sorry, Valorant was like huge last year. It, it had a really good year. <laughs> Valorant. Val I'm picking Valorant. Sorry, League of Legends, bro. Come on, <laughs> come on. We we can't let Valorant have a one year. We can't. You can't deny Valorant had a crazy year last year. You cannot deny. You can't deny that Valorant went crazy last year. League wins though. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's not, let's be real. Let's be real, let's be real, please, let's be real. Valorant had a way bigger impact last year than League. Like, he had all the stuff with 10, Sentinels, all that stuff, like, come on, bro. Let's be real, let's be real. <laughs> Midorant, oh my God, I, I, I'm picking Valorant, but. League, I just, that's, I, I'm being biased here though, cause I, I don't play League, I don't know that much about League. CSGO, I don't know, I'm sorry. Dota, I, <laughs> I have never, I don't even know what Dota even looks like. <laughs> I can't even tell you what Dota looks like, big dog. Rocket League, I haven't heard anything about Rocket League in ages, bro. I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm picking Valorant. Valorant had a really good year last year. 
the tournaments, content creators, all that stuff. Best esports athlete. Yay is on here, but not Tens. Oh no. <laughs> Where's <is> Tens at? <laughs> I'm surprised Austin is not on here either. Faker. Did Faker win? I don't know. Did Faker win or he lost? If Faker won, he probably would win this too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ye is going to win this though. Ye had a crazy year. Bro, if you see Ye's aim and Valor, that boy was going crazy with Chamber. Simple. Um, What game is this guy from? I don't know. I'm sorry. Bayes Clan. Oh, CSGO. It says CSGO right here. League of Legends. League of Legends. Damn, only one Valorant. It's league, just two leagues, two, two CSGOs. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know nothing about this guy. I don't know nothing about this guy. Don't know nothing about this guy. All I've heard about is Faker because, well, everybody says he's like the best league player or whatever. So, um, I, I'm biased, so I'm going to pick Ye, though, because that's the only pro scene here I watch out of what's elected. So, yeah, I'm, I'd have to pick Ye. This Ye went crazy. <laughs> His aim is ridiculous with Chamber. But Chamber is nerfed now, so this will be interesting to see how he plays. Best esports team. Uh, LA Thieves. La Wait, where are Sentinels? 100 Thieves and Sentinels aren't up here? They have LA Thieves, but 100 Thieves and Sentinels aren't up here? Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Um, Wow. Okay. Uh, Dark Zero Esports, FaZe Clan, Gen G, LA Thieves. Well, I don't know nothing about this, but it'll probably be Loud. Loud will probably win this. I mean, not Loud. My bad. It'll probably be like FaZe or um, um, Gen G. I don't know. I, I don't know who would win this. I'm surprised Sentinels isn't up here or 100 Thieves because they had a crazy year last year. Like, if you think of a content creator team for for Valorant, you think 100 Thieves or um, Sentinels. My bad. Literally just just hype content creators. Like every out of all matches, when it comes to any match, if 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 100 Thieves or Sentinels is playing, everyone's gonna go watch it. When it comes to Valorant, but I only know the Valorant scene. I don't know the rest of these, so I can't speak on this. I'd have to probably let you guys pick that. Best esports coach. Okay, this is another one I don't know. <laughs> like I wouldn't be able to tell you yet because <laughs> I, I don't I can't speak on that. Best esports event. What the hell? Valorant Championships, um, Mid-Season Invitational, what is this? Sat Rocket League, I think. Um, PGL Major, mm, this is League, and this is EVO. I like the EVO, EVO was really good. Like, Fighter Z was amazing at EVO this year. VCT, I mean, League, League Championships is probably gonna win, or Valorant, but I don't know, I have no clue. Anyway, this is up for anyone. I don't know who would win this. But if I were to pick, I'd pick Evo because I actually watched Evo. I mean, I watched a little bit of Valorant Championships, but I don't watch it as much as I watched Evo. I watched like pretty much all of Evo. I watched every single day of it. Like Fire Z Evo was crazy. Tekken Tekken Final was, was crazy as well. And like uh Street Fighters. But yeah. Alright, we're done. Sadly, uh voting closed on me in the middle of me voting. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, but hey. Coming from the bottom, better move a caution. When I bring this out, find a form, I'm a slay. When I pull up, get done to clap, my slay is running back. Make sure these demons remember the name. I do them dirty like EU when I'm dead calm. Till I get hot, but I see through all your dead plots. I'm in the guys in these suit, cut your head off. Pull up with your demons, I'm making sure they next gone. Bet like a pillow, my lessons is breathing when I'm breath lost. That wrong, that wrong, think it is my best shot. Flower got flower got you know, come and cock it out. Upper moon, lower moon, say I'm like a hot shit out. Whirlpool flow, cause I'm trying to drip. Flash dance, leave your man to the